Hi, this is Diego from NutriAdmin, and this video is to discuss the different features we've added to meal plans and recipes as of late February 2017. So, um, first of all, um, you can now, I'm going to load a meal plan. Um, we've uh, made these recipes available based on user requests, and we've prioritized these user requests by what was more urgent and what mm, users suggested the most. So, um, here we go. This is a meal plan, and the first thing you can notice is that we've cleaned the interface. So now, uh, rather than having a little icon for deleting a food next to each food, you can move your mouse over them, and the food will be highlighted. And you can click in any food, and this will give you a bunch of options for these foods. So this way, the interface is a bit cleaner. Okay, so what are these options? So, for example, let's click on this avocado. So the first option is rename food. This is a new option we've added so that you can change the name of how the food is displayed in here. So sometimes you have very long names that you want to change and sometimes you just want to add some extra information such as avocado um, ripe, for example. So now you can add this text in here. You can tick this box so that it uh, renames all the instances of this food. And as you press confirm, you will notice all the avocados that were in the meal plan now say avocado ripe. So you know, you could go to this light tuna can in water and just say uh, canned tuna, something simpler. You can include portion information in here. So if it is an apple, you can say uh, one apple rather than saying apple 120 grams. So this gives you more control over the way you display information. Uh, also related to renaming, when you add a food from the database, you can search a food uh, such as um, pasta. Let's see what comes up. So whenever you find uh, foods from the branded food products database, they are in capital letters. But if you add this to the meal plan, this is going to be uh, put into proper case. Um, Academia Beria Farfal Pasta. So now this is in lowercase. Uh, so it looks more consistent with the rest of the text. And you can as well rename the food and just say um, pasta if you want, something simpler. And there we go. Okay, so um, the next improvement we've made is that when you click uh, in a food, you have all these options in here, and we will add more options in the future, so we've made this extensible. So if you have more suggestions for operations you can do with food, you can also let us know. Okay, the next one is that when you add a recipe, um, this has been requested a lot, when you add a recipe, now you get the recipe name in here, rather than a list of ingredients. And you can also add the recipe in here, for example, a second time. And when you add to a recipe twice, and you go to a recipe tab, the recipe only shows once in here, because there is no need to duplicate the information. So what this allows you to do is to give your uh, client a meal plan that says omelette uh, in several places, and then if they need some extra context, they can uh, check the corresponding recipe and see the ingredients, instructions, a picture, a uh, source for uh, this recipe, etc. So now this allows you to um, be, uh, give a, have a simpler interface and give them a, a smaller list of things they got to consider in the meal plan. Right. Um, then the next feature is there is a button here now so that you can change the meals of the day. So. By default, it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks, but now you can add and remove and rename them. So you can say supper, you can create pre-workout, post-workout, etc. Uh, dessert, anything you want. And you can also go to the settings in here to set which meals you want by default, so that every time you create a new meal plan, you have the new ones, if you use them all the time. And then, um, finally, when you go to macronutrients, there was a... a there was an error in calculating quantities in here in the past. This was corrected. And also, if you go to shopping, um, this shopping list now uh, is going to show in grams if you use grams in the settings, and it's going to show in ounces if you use ounces. Um, additionally, when you add a food, this is also a little new thing. So if you hover over the food, uh, it's going to give you, for example, in this case, mushrooms white raw, it says on the top. It gives you the full name, because if you're checking something like grains and starch, um, grains. So for example, you're checking quinoa. So 
in this case it's uncooked because the, the quantity of quinoa is gonna uh, it can be measured as uncooked or cooked and uh, once it's cooked it has water and the weight can double and it's very important to know if it is cooked or not in order to calculate amounts so you can uh, have this extra context information now when you add meal plan uh, when you add foods to the meal plan and this is uh, most of the changes in a nutshell we have some other changes pending uh, so for instance when creating a recipe we are improving the interface so that you can um, have for example nutritional information as you work on your recipe this is in progress um, they're also we're also working on improving the algorithm that generates plans so if you use the auto generate meal plan feature um, very soon you're going to have more options to choose from and they are going to generate plans that uh, make more sense and the, the, the meals generator are going to um, be better so that's all for today uh, thanks for watching and if you have any suggestions about how to continue to improve the meal plans please uh, send us an email and we'll put it into a development into our development list if we can do it